All right, Procast Creator, so let's get started with some of these things that you can use your Cricut for. Um, one, what? Dress up your porch and your door with a wood sign. This is just vinyl over top of some paint, <laughs> you know, so you could use your Cricut to make the vinyl for a wood sign or for your door. So it can go straight on the door, which I'll show a picture of, as well as it can go on a sign. So this is what I meant by the things that you can put on your door. You can do it on the inside of your door, tell people see you soon, and you can do it on the outside of your door to say welcome, hello, all those kind of good things. So that's one and two right there. Um, you can make big signs, little signs. So here is just something I did with crushed grass on barn wood and crushed grass, crushed glass. And um, I just added a label, you know, um, vinyl onto that where I am now, you know, now I have the word love on there. So that's another thing that you can do. So you can just spice up. You know, you can put labels on things in your cabinets, in your, um, to label your drawers, to label your storage. You know, labels can be used on anything, including signs, um, because they're all the same thing. They're all the same thing. So you can make a mask. They already have a template um, in Design Space where you can make your own mask, find your own material, make yourself a mask you know if you one of those ones that wear them you could do that you know and you can make you know the template comes where depending on the size you use it'll be you know your two pieces here and then your inner pieces so they'll give you the inner outer pieces so another thing that you can do um you know in these times we need to carry around some hand sanitizer and stuff like that, right? So um, this is just a little pocket for hand sanitizer used with sublimation, mm, used with infusible ink. Cricut calls it infusible ink, it's sublimation. But Cricut calls it infusible ink, so you could use your um, Cricut to infuse a color on some sublimation blanks. Um, and then you can even take vinyl to put it over top of that, so win-win there um another thing here is some more epoxy type products like i just made a little keychain and used vinyl to um you know put that initial on there so just cute little things that you can do you can make your tags if you are a uh, 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 entrepreneur and you have products you can make your tags they'll cut them out nice and round for you so just another thing that you can do um here cups and tumblers right look at that like that is nothing but vinyl underneath that epoxy nothing but vinyl to make a cute little queen bee cup you know because we the queen bees right so um just just wonderful things that you could do i don't same premise with this and i'm going to show you here in a second but these are just um um coasters so couldn't find the one i was looking for but still a coaster you know that you could again your logo for your business um your favorite team like you could do anything with this like not anything but you can do most things with this Cricut to just make stuff that is just super cute for you and for your family um here's another coaster where i actually it's got that 3d element so i cut out um thin pieces of wood and then they were adhered to this coaster um how cute is this you can make your own style by making your own bow ties. What? Yes, all this is is um, wood that was cut out. Like, how freaking cute. You just cut out different sizes of bow ties and wood, adhere them together, put the fabric around them, either put a clip on them or put a whole neck um, piece around it. 
and you have your own wooden bow ties. Okay, y'all. That's just nice. I don't have no makeup on. <laughs> y'all get what y'all get. Um, <laughs> so, of course, we can't forget things like shirts. You can also put a picture on your shirt. Um, and this is one of my more popular videos, so I'll have a link to that above. Okay, here's something else, like bags. So this is, could be a trick-or-treat bag. I'm here for the treats. Glows in the dark, just like the shirt um, that I showed you here. Um, that despise, um, despise not small beginnings. This also glows in the dark, like, so I'm really excited about glow in the dark stuff. So um, just like with the bags, like, it could be on a bag like this where you're doing the trick-or-treating. It could be on an athletic bag or a school bag where you're putting your kid's name or a little design that's special to them. So um, bags are another way that you can um, use that Cricut and make it worth your while. Look at this cuteness. They have an engraving tool. And look at what you can make. So these are just little bracelets. You know, that says set your sights. And this one says in goal driven. But like, just engrave these myself. You know, I don't need to go to no jeweler. I got this boo boo. So here, I'm just going to show you, and I'm only showing you like one side of it, but like earrings. This just cut the leather strips, and then you can put your earring together. Um, the things to display your earrings on. So just like cute little earring cards, you could do that. Um, again, you're cutting cutting out teardrop. <laughs> I'm about the other one. You can, you know, mm -mm, you know, have your own style, do your own thing. I've also shown these before, and this is one that's a little dusty. It's been round. So look, gobble when you wobble, just a mason jar and all of that is just vinyl on a mason jar that was painted. So I am all over my house today, y'all, trying to show y'all some of the ways you can use this Cricut. Now, um, I use my Cricut as a template for, you know, you like I said, you can use it as a template to make signs, um, to paint. Um, so you could use like this right here, this vinyl is on here so that I can use um, one of my one of my saws to actually cut out these words. Um, so here's an example of that of something I've already cut out. So like super cute, right? But it started with my vinyl from my template um, that I used as my guide. So just another way, and again, you can do the reverse. You could keep pull, take all the letters off and then use it as um, a way to make larger signs. So just again, an abundance. I keep saying that it is an abundance of things that you can do with this Cricut. So, and I'm here to show you, I am here for that. So another thing that I mentioned earlier in this video is storage. So like I have this dresser that's full of my craft stuff. I know I gotta get everywhere right. Um, but storage, whether that's from a canister in your pantry all the way up to a dresser full of craft stuff or clothing, um, storage is another way that you can use um, your Cricut to label your items and be organized. So the Cricut can cut out fabric for you, whether that's making teddy bears, purse, Greek letters. It cuts everything out. You sew it together and then it's done. Here you can take everyday items like an umbrella and design until your heart is content. So cute. For the hunter in your life, here's a good way to display their latest and greatest by using a wall plaque, using the date. All right, business owners, you know you need to say thank you and what a way to do it with making your own set of labels. Um, and look at this cuteness, oh my God. Make your own ornaments. Um, just how you want them, direct decorate your tree. And here's a few projects to make your house your own. What a cute little idea with a window and also doing a lazy Susan. Oh my goodness. Just like the wood rounds, it's just paint, stain, and vinyl. And lastly today, 
showing you these window clings. So cute that you can use for different seasons and different um, decorations. I thank you so much for watching today, for um, seeing all the different things that you can do or some of the different things that you can do with this Cricut. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. You know, I try to answer as quick as possible. Um, and, you know, I do actually go into private messages and answer questions for people when I can. So um, just uh, another way that we can engage and reach out. Um, also, below in the description box is one, procrastcreation.com, which is my website. Slowly building that and putting some products on there. So take a look at that, getting ready to start a blog soon. Um, in addition to that, um, there is my Amazon storefront, and I'll have a link to that below as well. Um, so some of the items that I use to make some of these wonderful products, you know, um, from the vinyl to the um, alcohol inks that I use on the cups before I add the label on. Um, all of those things are in my shop, so you can take a look at that as well. Um, and as always, you know, come on, join the family. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you all the next time.